I'm not the guy that's gonna serve you little shitty plates full of foam and rigid etiquette. This is finished. With my name outside the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not me. Where does the best beef in the world come from? Let's find out. My name is Rafael Hernandez. I'm a beef specialist. My mission is to travel all over the world and recognize those that are making a difference in the industry. My focus is on two things, animal health care and a better way of eating. From the ranches to the packing plants to the restaurants, I'll be working with the best people and seeing how they contribute to that melt in your mouth, perfectly marbled slice of beef. Join me in my international journey to bring people the best beef in the world. Life is beautiful. Taste it. Monaco. Monaco is my kind of place. The glitz, the glamour, the cars, the yachts, but most importantly, the food. The most elite people in the world are here in this tiny country. It's time to mix it up. One thing that I have to keep in mind here in Europe is that I may be a big fish back home, but over here, it's a whole other ball game. I'm here in Monaco to meet one of the titans of the restaurant world, Ricardo Giraudi, CEO of Giraudi Group. When it comes to cuisine, He's a creative genius. But it's not KFC. It's Kobe beef fat fried chicken. And his father, the founder of Giraudi Group, is a man who started it all. Here in Monaco, we'll see how Ricardo's established himself as a top restaurateur and how he's inspiring the industry. After taking in the amazing sights, we hit the town. dinner at Ricardo's Italian restaurant, I'm seeing what the hype is all about. This is the most iconic dish in the world. So Ricardo, Ricardo says that this is the best place here in the house, which is Kobe. He flies it in from Japan, takes it to Spain, has it cooked, and then brings it back in. And we gotta try it. You gotta try it. This is actually uh, pesto, just amazing guys. So they have a guy that's been doing it for many, many years, and that's all that's all he does, just pesto. Everything here is exclusive, to be honest with you, it's amazing. And it's tasty, but then we have the uh, penne with Creekstone Farms ribeye. I can't get enough. I'm gonna have to try it again just to give you a good uh, look. <laughs> awesome. Everybody has a different opinion about Europe. It's a great place to live. It's a great place to love. And it's a great place to eat great beef. I like it. With dinner wrapped up, it's time to call that day. Day two begins with the tour of Dorati Group's headquarters. So, we're organized in two floors. One is the meat floor, the other one is the restaurant floor downstairs. We got to not only see the facilities, but also to hear the history and scale of Girardi Group. This is the real deal. Lorena, that you know, she's our marketing director. This is her whole team. Uh, her team is composed of uh, web uh, designers, webmasters, graphic designers, communication managers, digital marketing. Uh, I know they all look like, like uh, they were 12, which they are. Probably, <laughs> yeah. or well, that's, uh, that's how they have to be. Yeah. Uh, they don't come from the meat business, so they helped us a lot understand yeah. what is 
you know, actually interesting. The new era. The new yeah, era. and what's yes. interesting, you yeah. know, like I've come up with ideas and I tell her, and I think I have a great idea, and I tell her something and she's like, uh huh, okay. Uh, I don't know if I would That's very that. interesting. <laughs> Let's do something else. <laughs> so, and yeah, because you know, it's nothing worse than meet people trying to do marketing, that's, yeah. okay? Yeah, that's exactly. uh, it has to come from the outside. You know, like meet people tend to just be specialists on techniques, yeah. carcass and that kind of thing. But talk about the, that. Yeah, but the end, the end customer, the chef or the restaurateur, we don't have that vocabulary. We don't have that experience. Ooh, we don't have that. We're feedback. not an Instagram daily, TikTok exactly. daily, YouTube daily, so it's, so people, it's the new era. Yeah. So yeah. people taking care of marketing for both, they can actually meet, have both meet, you know, bring more culture to the end consumer about reads and feeds and, you know, whatever, and bring more culture to us about experience and taste and flavor and, you know, everything like that goes with it. Well, congrats. All this thanks to Lorena. Bow to you. <laughs> oh, we didn't go to Ricardo's office. Oh, no, I forgot. No, no, we have to go. We have to go. The highlight of the tour was seeing Ricardo's office. So, and this is the uh, Kobe beef uh, recognition. Kobe beef, and Ricardo's Kobe beef inspector. So he has to make sure that, yeah, he has to make sure that uh, it's fully traceable and that the, the Kobe that is sell, sold on the menus is really Kobe. Bye, guys. Bye bye. So they're all coming tonight. Guys, you're all coming tonight, right? For lunch, we head over to one of the many picturesque ports in Monaco, Ricardo's prized restaurant creation, Beef Bar, where the team of Gerardi Group has arranged an event. Beef Bar is a juggernaut of taste, quality, and class. It's the crown jewel of Ricardo Giraudi's restaurant empire. The cliffs, the atmosphere, the, the restaurants, it's, uh, it's high end. Everything you heard about, that is exactly what it is. So the top of the top, very boutique, one of a kind type place. So we'll go there and see it firsthand. I'm not only seeing, but also tasting why the concept is so successful. It all starts with the best ingredients and the best talent. And you know, coming into Monaco, I expected to get this elaborate plates. But these guys have taken very cultures, you know, including Mexico, France, Germany, Sweden, and have taken street food into a high-end place. It's become the staple going forward with all the restaurants, and it's amazing. So you come down to Monaco and you have the best tacos. And I was just speaking to the chef and he told me that he was in Mexico, trying out street tacos to make sure that he got the ingredients correctly. So very excited about it. Amazing. Wow. Look how good that this with the uh, so it's actually the new concept of Bridgestone with the pork, but it's actually beef. Trying to create a ham cured ham really but on the beef side. It's a great job. Amazing. It could have been for you, sir. So. Wow. Prime Brickstone ribeye. It's amazing. These guys are international. And they are part of the culture. We're bringing in for the natural, you know, uh, antibiotic free, hormone free. And these guys have been in business with Crickstone Farm for more than 15 years. So we're going to have actually a little discussion with a chef that's been with them since the beginning of it. And they're opening up their uh, 30th restaurant in New York City. I, 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 I love the whole concept. Yeah? I love it. Yeah, Thank you. It's, it's great. You like, you like meat? I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, 27 years I've been eating meat. Yeah. <laughs> yes, really. So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big critic when it comes to going to a restaurant and eating a piece of meat. If I don't know the brand, I, it's bad to say, but yeah, yeah. I'd rather not eat it. But look, he's built a, a boutique. Instead of having, you know, Gucci bags, uh, Louis Vuitton bags, it's become the boutique of meats, which is, I yeah. love that. It, it, you know, it's something different. You're giving representation to the meat yeah. and you're Should showing you it the to, meat to the yeah, public. The world is here. It's beautiful. Yeah. So. The boutique of meat. Yeah, it's the same boutique of Louis Vuitton, Chanel. Right, uh, yeah. We have uh, Kobe, uh, Japanese beef, we have a uh, Crickstone Farm, we have a, uh, this is dry as uh, pearl beef. Uh, maybe, yeah, but, maybe more expensive than a Louis Vuitton purse, the whole thing if you want. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Miyamoto Wagyu beef. Yeah. It's very good quality. It's very expensive. Okay. Yeah. For me, the 
luxury, luxury display. There's no hiding anything. Everything is out here, huh? Yeah, yeah. But the people, you like it. We like it, the Crickstone. You like it? Yeah. It's, it's consistent, it's a good taste it's to it. It's consistent sense. It's really important for the, for the customer, you and know? Animal health care, humane treatment. Yeah. And then the way we feed the animals. It's Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the the, the marble inside the meat is yeah. very is consistent. Yeah. When you cook, the system in we have in Bilbao, the, the oven, the oven is, uh, the power is uh, one, one, 1,200 degrees. When you put the meat on the oven, yes. it's very important. The fat is really important when you're cooking the meat. To keep it moist. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't I don't put oil, I don't put butter, nothing. Never. I use only only the fat, the meat. You I know? Like it. This is a success for them. The Crickstone is very good. Now I have a try. Yeah. So that, that's the good, good, the good thing about Crickstone is that you know that at least the plant is making yeah. 25 to 35% prime in the cattle, yeah, yeah. which is unknown in the beef industry. The other brands are very good brands. Yeah. But they carry between a three to a seven percent prime in their cattle. Ah, yes. Now we're, you know, in Europe enjoying a piece of Creekstone Farms. It's the same thing we could try in U.S. and we know it's the same consistency. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same piece of meat when you see it on the menu. Very, I, I think yeah. I'm extending my stay another week. Absolutely, because yeah. uh, I'm in love here. I love. It. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank so you. Much. So they've been a springboard for the whole Europe in bringing out the natural, the humane treatment. So, uh, you know. What did I learn here? This has been happening before the U.S. got in, and these guys were making those changes. It's, it was everything I expected to be. Uh, you know, we're joining alliance with the right people. So the chef theory lives and breathes Monaco. You could tell right away. And uh, he just got in his scooter here, and you know, this is the way to travel in Monaco. And uh, I'm actually borrowing the motorcycle tomorrow. Bye. Bye. -bye. Living in Miami, one of my favorite things is boats in particular yachts. And Monaco is the yacht capital of the world. And we are at the Monaco Yacht Club for another extravagant event. I gotta say, between the amazing food and drinks, the amazing scenery, and the awesome people, it is very easy to forget that this is still work. Very excited, we're starting the night, night event. So Geraldi does a one every two year event. Uh, and does a grand opening in the Yacht Club in Monaco. Yeah, enjoy the street food that we have to take out of the show. And it's very exciting. So, so what do we get out of this event? At the end of the day, we're here with the creme of the creme of Europe. It's all the main distributors, the main chain restaurants, all the people that are making a difference on these. Natural health care, the way the animal eats, the way the animal lives. Geraldi means class. And it means green stuff. He's a man that believe in, believes in art and believes in good taste. He sees a fork out of place, he's gotta make sure it goes back together. You know, he's a perfectionist. So I really look forward to an interview with him, just to see what, what's he doing that I'm not doing. As the day was winding down, I was finally able to talk one-on-one -on -one with the living legend, Ricardo Girardi. Not only is Ricardo's natural charisma electrifying, but it's also his story. I am lived all my life in Monaco. My father was a, is a tr beef, agent, trader, if you prefer. So we came, we came from this world. And I was always attracted to the luxurious part of this industry because we suck at marketing, branding, and okay. giving a dream, right? This is the industry yeah. 15 years ago. Imagine 2005. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we were just selling There, there was ribeyes. no marketing on no, beef. we were yeah. selling a ribeye. You don't know where it came from, especially in Europe. Uh, strip loin, or whatever it was. And I used to travel to America and I used to go to restaurants and it would be normal to pay $50, $60 for a steak. For a steak. Yeah. And I'd fly back to Europe and I would eat a steak for $20. It tastes like shit. You know the difference. But, it's, <laughs> but, it's, it, costs, yeah. but it costs like well, shit. I mean, it's the word. The, it, so I was like, what are we trying to do here? I, and, and okay, and everybody was, it was a price war, price war. I can get the cheapest meat so I can get the biggest volume. You know, that was the, that was yeah. the industry's DNA, cost, price, cost, yes. price. And I said, okay, let's go luxury. I studied branding, I studied Quality. marketing. I live in Monaco. And of course, in 2005, luxury was totally different to what it than, is than today. today. You yeah. know, today, in 2005, if you tell me that Chanel would do a sneakers and Louis Vuitton would be you would uh, say, crazy. Uh, no, are they crazy? This doesn't work. So <laughs> I think also that, you know, we have to follow fashion. And you know, if I can just bring something a bit more 
sexy, a bit more okay. Let's 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 put a logo on a menu. Let's put a name on a menu. Let's yeah. let's educate the customers where it comes from. It costs a double, but this is why. Yeah, you know, yeah, that yeah. was the whole idea. The whole idea is and that's how it started. But they noticed the difference right away. They noticed the difference, and so and most importantly, it, when they reordered, it was consistent. Yeah, which is something you don't have here. Ricardo, yeah. we want the same thing you sent us last time. What was it? Whatever it was, I want. Exactly. Yeah. And what happens is that in you know the two reasons for consistency and quality meats is genetic, 50% feeding, 50%. It's the, it's the it first is. rule Kriegston taught me when I walked in the door. That's right. Genetic feed. Europe, you have millions of crossbreeds, no feedlots, and farmers do what they want. Who's got a better price? That's and so the, the consistency. You might go to the butcher and have the best French steak, Italian steak, and, and I'm not saying it's not good, but it's a lucky draw. One day you go to the butcher or the restaurant and it's delicious. You order the same thing the next time and it's as hard as a rock. Consistency okay? is not We tricky. have consistency. Quality is consistency in meat. And when I do street food with the most glamorous, expensive, qualitative meats in the world and put it in a cathedral setting, I've been this is what luxury yeah. is. How the palate in luxury consumption of meat has changed thanks. And things are changing. To our job. Yeah. Things are changing. And you're acknowledging a lot, that. A lot, more, a lot more. Yeah. We eat less meat. We eat but better, better meat. meat. That's exactly it. So that's, that's the motto nowadays. Look, it. I know that you're looking at health. I'm in a diet. I I've been trying to. I, I eat healthy and I have a bottle of wine, two bottles of wine at night. So it's not Salud. logic. <laughs> Street food. So what happened, I, I, we hired eight chefs from all over the world and I gave them each one of the restaurant. So a Chinese restaurant, a Japanese restaurant, an Italian restaurant, a French yeah. restaurant. So they have their own restaurant and then you have my head chef on top and I give them the best meat in the world and I ask them. Be creative. No. You're from the Middle East, you do the kebab. You're from Mexico, you give me the best tacos. You're from France, you give me the best like cocktails. You. You're from Italy, you give on me the, the best pasta. On the culture, yeah. And then I give them the best ingredients. And I want it simple. Luxury is about quality. But I'm not the guy that's going to serve you little shitty plates full of foam and rigid, etiquette, and rigid etiquette. This is finished. With my name outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's living proof that creativity and vision trumps all. He may well be the most creative individual I've ever met and will definitely be a good ally in the elite restaurant world. And I met with the founder of Giraudi Group, the man who started it all. Um, the name Krikstad, very, very famous. Why the quality of Krikstad for us is the best. Yeah, now well, Krikstad is uh, started back in 2001 and they have been making changes. And, you know, Giraldi was one of those big changes 17 years ago. You had to get the quality meat for the restaurants because Ricardo started in the business with my husband. And so my husband said, look, I have an idea. Just go and I'll give you some meat. Go and open a <laughs> restaurant. And he did. That's what he did. He went to his friend who had a, a fish restaurant. And he said, listen, can I put some meat in your fish restaurant? <laughs> and that's what the boys did. And that's how it started, the beef club. And look at him now. Yeah. VIP party, private party, the Yacht Club. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. You've been talking to them, staying connected through, through emails and phones and all that, but it's not the same. It literally is not the same unless you're face-to-face -face and you make that reconnection immediately. Yeah. You pick up that conversation you had last. The word we heard the most tonight was consistency. Yeah. Yeah. And it's consistent product, it's consistent suppliers, distributors, consistent customers. That consistency was what brings them back every time. Yeah. Consistency, product, we love it. That to me is astonishing. So I love to be part of that. They're taking some non-traditional cuts that are more readily available and they're turning them into some amazing products. Like those little slider burgers and, and top rounds street and tacos. other things. Yeah. He's doing his street tacos coming up, he says. It's not just ribeyes and tenderloins, you know? Yeah. It's, it's the whole deal. With the event, every detail was a slam dunk. Life is beautiful. Taste it.